Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy, and today we're gonna to take this dresser and give it a transformation. So let's flip it. I start by taking off all the hardware and placing them in a bag for later. Now I use my mixture of Dixie Belle's White Lightning to thoroughly clean my piece. My original plan was to paint the base in a pure white, but as I'm cleaning it and cleaning it, the tannins are still coming through and a little bit of dye, so I might have to switch up my plan. After cleaning it with White Lightning, I rinse it down with a bowl of water and I'm still coming up with yellow. Now I use some Dixie Belle mud which is like wood filler to fill some of the little gouges and then afterwards I just take a little um, wet napkin and wipe off the excess. I wanted to do the drawer fronts in an espresso stain, so to make my life easy, I went with the No Pain Gel Stain by Dixie Bell, and I used their applicator brush. I used a total of three coats. Um, I really only needed two, but I did the third just for any imperfections that I saw. This process was so easy and so smooth. I absolutely love this stuff, and I'll be using it a lot more. You're supposed to wait six to eight hours between applications, but I ended up waiting overnight. I never want to take a chance that it's going to be gummy, and it was a little humid here, so I just did it overnight within, you know, three days. And those are my daughter's feet. <laughs> when I finish up my gel stain, I put it in a little baggie so that it doesn't dry out and I can use it the next day. So here I use my Dixie Belle Slick Stick. The surface of this dresser is super shiny and I want to make sure my chalk paint's going to adhere to it so when this is exactly what the product's made for. My dad came over the other day to help me um, look at some furniture that needed repairing and he was like, you really like Dixie Belle, huh? And I said, absolutely. And I have to say this because they have a lot of problem solvers. Um, and they're really affordable. So I don't sell it or anything like that. I just, I absolutely love it. I wanted to show that I used my um, blue tape to tape off so I could have some nice crisp lines. I did use my Dixie Belle Boss to prime the parts of the dresser that didn't need slick stick. I still thought I was going to paint this piece white with espresso drawer fronts. That's why I used Dixie Belle in white, otherwise I would have used it in clear and I would have tinted my slick stick so that it would have been easier for me to put my paint color on. But at this point I really thought I was going through with using white. and. 
turns out I wasn't going to. I don't want a chance that there will be bleed through or that the tannins will pop through on someone in a year from now. And I just had a feeling with this piece that that would happen. So I went with my gut. And here I'm using a little brush just to get in the details. This is my second coat of gel stain. I just wanted to show you the difference. The first one looks a little rough, but the second one, it just looks so sharp. So finally, I ended up convincing myself that white was not a good choice for this. And I wanted to use a medium gray. So I didn't have enough um, gravel road. So I mixed what I had left of gravel road and Mason Dixon gray, and I knew I wanted to make a medium gray. It wasn't quite as dark as I wanted, so I knew I had to put in some caviar, which is like their truest black. Every time I do a furniture makeover, it never goes the way that I originally planned. But that's because there's gonna be unexpected bumps in the road. You know, you may not, it, it might need sanding, it might not be as clean as you thought, it might have a smell, or there might be tannins, or you know, you just never know. So every time I buy paint, I buy a problem solver with it, whether it's shellac, whether it's a sealer or a wax or, you know, slick stick. Um, it's always good to have a collection of problem solvers on hand because you never know what's going to happen. Expect the unexpected. So here I just softly sand with my sanding sponge. I'm not trying to take anything off, I just wanted it to be nice and smooth. And then I'm going to put my medium gray on and I use my water mister to spritz because, I don't know, it's really humid in my house so it was drying fast so I kept it nice and wet. And I like to do that anyway because it goes on smooth and you really don't have to do much sanding afterwards. To me, this dresser had sort of a manly vibe to it, so I knew that when I painted it, I wanted to keep it that way and make it sort of, you know, masculine and handsome. And it just so happens that the best painted furniture is doing a contest for Father's Day, so I'm definitely going to enter this one. Here's the second coat of the gel stain. It looks great already. I'm adding a third coat just to fix some tiny imperfections, but I'm just in awe of how nice this is.
I used two coats of water-based polyurethane to seal this dresser, and on the top, I used three coats. The original hardware was in great condition, so I used it. I just cleaned it with some soapy steel wool. 